Hi there. Today we're going to do something a little different. I have this giant feather that was naturally shed by a turkey in a neighboring farm. And this is, I measured it, it's 13 inches long. Now, to get cruelty-free feathers, um, you can get them at Running Bug farm.etsy.com or runningbugfarm.com and I checked and they do have them 13 inches if you want a crazy long one too. I mean it's probably much longer than it should be but I just love this feather. So I have a feather. I have some what's it called floral tape. I have ribbon that I purchased at the thrift store and it's kind of like that papery ribbon which I normally won't buy and don't use but it was in a bag with a bunch of other ribbons that I did want and you had to buy it all so I got that and this lace and the button came from AliExpress and if you watch the button haul this is that little oval one I got pins, we only need one, but I got a set of pins from the Dollar Tree, and I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing here, but we're going to start with these items anyway. I have a pair of scissors, and I'm going to use this to cut my ink pen, because I'm worried that ink is going to come out, and I don't want to ruin my scissors, and a glue gun. I think that's all we need. Now I've already cut the tip off of my feather because I was just going to make it and then I thought well I'll just do a video as well. So you're probably going to want to cut the tip off of your feather. I have one of these ink pens and you can just slide that out. Now I don't know how far it will go in here. Okay, not too awfully far. So about right there. So I think I'll cut it right here and see how that goes. Totally don't want ink everywhere. Now let's try it back in here, see how it goes. Okay, this section is just too fat to fit in my feather, but that's okay. I think that'll work out okay. So sit this up somewhere, the ink doesn't run out of it. Now, this is tapered, so I'm going to try to get this narrower part to be the same diameter or close to the same diameter as the rest of the feather. And I'm going to try to accomplish that with this floral tape. Let's see how that goes. And I'll see if I can get it to go back down. I'm just trying to get a fairly even pen base. So I think it would be rather awkward trying to write with a pen that's tapered. So just keep doing that until this is the size that you want. Okay, I just kept wrapping with floral tape. Once I got everything fairly even. I just kept going with it to, to give this a thicker base. So let's put this pen back in here. And I'm going to drop a little bit of glue and use hot glue so that this can be removed when you want to refill, when you want to put another pen in there. Use some glue, just stick that on, and I think what I'm going to do is go ahead with another piece of floral tape just to cover this little section up a little bit.
that goes. Okay, easier said than done. I don't go crazy here because I want to be able to take this pin out. Okay, that's good enough. Like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. Could probably come up with better ways to do this. So now I'm going to take this papery ribbon. Uh -uh. I don't think I have a very good brand of this floral tape. Because I generally don't have a problem with it sticking to itself. Okay. Now I think I will take this paper ribbon here and just glue it around. And remember, this is just for me. So, we don't have to be super neat and tidy and wonderful with this. Just hold that on there for me. And I have it on there crooked or something. Let's go ahead and roll it. Okay. I'm going to run a bead of glue here. And just bring this ribbon over top of it and then just cut off the excess. Now I'm going to place ribbon around, just to pretty it up a little bit. Once again, I'm just going to run some glue here. Kind of stick into the glue that was already there. Be extremely careful, please. Let's cut this excess off. Okay, now our button. I think I'm going to go on the feather. Okay, hold on, need a new glue stick. Okay, back with you. I'm going to put a huge dollop of glue right there. And place this button on top. And that's it. There's our little feather pin. Now, let me get some paper and we'll see if it writes. I have one of my little workbooks here. This has got a, some kind of cover on it. So let's see. Yes, it does might want to check and make sure <laughs> make sure your pen writes first <laughs> before you do this so I love it it's going to make me happy um, if you've watched any of my vid videos require any kind of drawing you know that I can't draw but when I get an idea for a project <laughs> 
I draw, or what I call drawing anyway. So that's an ear. <laughs> and this is a new ear cuff that I was working on. I put my notes down here. I don't generally, when something pops in my head, I don't generally have time to just sit down and make it. So I draw it all out, I leave the notes and my thoughts, and then later when I have a chance, I'll go back and do it. So I thought that would be a really nice pen to use for my idea book. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you so much for watching.